comes from Jacinta and the header and the opening goal for Celtic and it is Caitlin Hayes you can see she was standing in the six yard box just making her presence felt in front of the goalkeeper Jenna Five. but the delivery had to be spot on and Jacinta's corner was exactly that right onto the head of Caitlin Hayes three yards from goal and she doesn't need to be asked twice such a good header of the ball and Caitlin Hayes nods it into an empty net 14 minutes gone and it's Celtic 1 Rangers 0 A long one towards the box there from Hayes. Oh, is the ball broken away of Lou? A real chance here for Celtic. Goalkeeper came out, closed the angle. Flint though turns. A number of Rangers players back though. Can play. And the final outcome is a goal kick to Rangers. That was a good chance for Lou. Perhaps in hindsight, the better option would have been to take it round. Jenna Fife. The goalkeeper did come out very quickly, so credit to her. <laughs> and Celtic get the second half underway. A massive 45 minutes in the context of the SWPL season for both these sides, but Celtic just with that one-point advantage in the league. A win this afternoon would open up a four-point cushion and a real chance at the start of the second half. And inside 20 seconds, Amy Gallagher has pounced on a loose ball inside the six-yard box. There's that emotion I was telling you about from the manager, Fran Alonso. Celtic have a second goal out of absolutely nothing, the first chance in the second half, as I said, inside 20 seconds. Amy Gallagher, well, her great-grandfather scored many goals against Rangers. That's the first for the latest in the Gallagher family. The ball was played out to Lou on the left-hand side. She took on Brogan Hay, the ball there took a deflection, it just killed the pace, and it landed at the left foot of Amy Gallagher. And she wasn't going to miss from there. Seven yards from goal, kept the shot low, giving Jenna Fife no chance. And that is such an important goal in the context of this match. Chance. Is it out to the left hand side? That's a lovely play from Lewis, having a great game. Down the left-hand side, still Lou, still Lou, and she wins the corner. Well, what a threat this young Chinese winger is. She picks up the ball here, the, chan the, the pass from Chance right on the halfway line. Past two Rangers players, keeps the ball in, and wins the corner off Hannah Davison. In comes the corner again from Jacinta, and again it's Hayes! It's a carbon copy of the first goal! And what a start to the second half for Celtic! Inside three minutes, and it's Caitlin Hayes again with the header from the corner! Unbelievable scenes here at the Excelsior Stadium! Well, Celtic could not have hoped for a better start to this second half. And the fans are loving what they're seeing. Again, it was another fantastic delivery. Two Rangers players, one on either shoulder of Caitlin Hayes. But she kept her eye on the ball. Both Rangers players had more attention to Caitlin Hayes than the ball. And she knew that all she had to do was get the first touch on that one.
Oh, and I think it was their own player that stopped that. What a save from Tahona! That was world class from the Celtic goalkeeper. And what a way to end this match. Fran Alonso kisses a blow into the crowd. They've kept Rangers at bay. They've got the clean sheet. They've got three goals. Celtic move four points clear of Rangers. Level on points with Glasgow City, who will have a game in hand. Where will this league title end? It really is anyone's guess. But that is a massive three points for Fran Alonso's side. It finishes here at the Excelsior Stadium in Airdrie. In the SWPL, Celtic 3, Rangers 0.